Hey Helix users, uh, back with another two minute tip. Today I wanted to show you guys how to save a preset without overwriting your current preset. So what I mean by that is you have a preset that you really like that you wanna just keep simple. Um, maybe it's a template, maybe it's your favorite amp settings, but you wanna keep this one the same and you don't wanna change it, but you wanna add things, you wanna subtract things, you wanna make snapshots and save it to a different preset. You don't have to overwrite the current preset. You can just save over next to it and uh, get yourself a fresh new preset without affecting the one that you just edited. So I'm going to take you over to the Helix and we'll talk about it. So this here part. we have my two guitar clean preset. Okay, this is for when me and Jessica are both using our guitars at the same time. So say for any random reason at all, I just want to delete some stuff. So I'm going to clear block. Okay, so now I have a totally different preset here, I guess, that I'm going to want to save. So I can hit save, and here you have set list destination. Okay, so you can alter these wherever you want. And these are all different destinations that you can put this in. You have up to eight set lists, not counting the first two that are factory, but the rest are all users. So here I have my two guitar clean. This is where it's currently saved, 28B, set list five. All I'm gonna do is turn this knob. And now I'll see here that 28C is a new preset. So that's empty. And I can see, okay, there's my Paisley print. I can't save it there. 29A is also available. This one's not available, not available. And you basically turn this knob until you get to something that's available. In this case, 28C is available. So I'm gonna hit save into 28C. So now, I have 28C blinking here. This is now my new preset with the new edits that I had. And now back to the original 28B, I still have the unaffected original preset that I edited in the first place. So that's it for this two minute tip. I hope it helps you guys out. Um, it's really useful if you have that preset that you really don't wanna to touch or if you wanna use a template, a pedal board template and save different amplifiers. This works really great for that as well. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it.